Greetings survivors, welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost Wanderer here and today we're going to be heading up to get the hazmat suit. So, uh, last episode I was down in Lexington Station, Lexington Station, I don't know why I can't pronounce that correctly, um, which is up in here by the way, of course we were down inside of it, we didn't actually surface from it, and um, going through there I've realized how awful the radiation was down there. So. I thought uh, today, let's go ahead and get the hazmat suit. Now I know where there's one at. There should be one up north here, um, just at West Everett Estate. So it's not too far away. You can just cross over here, up by Bunker Hill, and go up through that way. I'm going the right way, right? No, not really, but... Yeah, so we'll just cross over here, go up, and we'll cross into this area by BADTFL. And uh, then West Everett should be up in there, that area somewhere. So, shouldn't be too bad to get there. Um, I went back to the base after our last excursion, obviously. And um, I healed up my Sandy and my Rads and all that stuff. So, see, my Sandy is currently 86. Um, I did use some Thorazine, and I've used uh, two great Mentats as well as a regular Mentat. The Grape Mentats, of course, were for bartering. I've been, I've seen Opal twice. Uh, I've been buying stuff from her whenever I can, trying to stop back, stock back up on those fusion cells. So rather than using the uh, laser rifle today, I have the assault rifle out. Um, it's a bit heavier, but this is kind of a short excursion. So I thought it would be, basically I could afford to not have as much carry weight. I think I've only got about 90 spare carry weight, but the hazmat suit does not weigh very much, and I don't anticipate picking up a whole lot of stuff from uh, the area up here at West Everett Estate. So I didn't see any reason to need the um, the lightweight efficiency, I guess you would say, of uh, the laser rifle. So just using the assault rifle, just going to use that to uh, get some stuff here. We don't need to go through here, do we? No, we don't need to go through here. Let's go up onto the main road here. We'll take that up. Of course, I, I keep hitting the Q button. I don't need to hit Q. I actually cannot trigger mines anymore. Um, as well, I got the um, my perks here. I did get two points into this hip fire perk steady aim. So the uh, the laser rifle is amazing. The accuracy on that, even while moving, is amazing and. Um, I can see that really being great for running and gunning. This thing is pretty good too, like I could probably hit stuff from medium range pretty easily and given how much ammo I have for this thing, it's like 1500 rounds, I can just go nuts with uh, shooting with this thing. So that's the nice thing about... Hello Ghoul. I've not reloaded so I don't know why he's bugged out, but maybe he was already there. Um, but yeah, I can go crazy with shooting this thing and not worrying about ammo consumption too much because I've just got a ton of it. So. Oh yeah, and um, I guess I got it already. Must have come back here and gotten it. There was, uh, I had put some, a whole bunch of ammo over there. But it's not there now, that's fine. Oh god, that's the death claw again, isn't it? Holy shit. He killed us once before, didn't he? Or I was up here, I don't, I don't remember. Okay, this is bound to four. Um... Yeah, we have to use a whole bunch of drugs here, guys. There's, there's like nothing else for it to kill this guy. It's gonna be really difficult. So let's see, psycho buff, probably overdrive. Here goes my sandy, guys. Here it goes. I could use some orange ment hats and then uh, wow, ten perception. Holy crap! I could I could vats him and just kill him with vats. Gives me a whole bunch of sandy too. I could also use a. Um, you know what? Screw it. We'll use a Comex. I never use this stuff. I have a whole bunch back at the base. Well, not a whole bunch. I've got like 10 more of them back at the base. Let's go ahead and use a Comex. Um, what else? What other damage can I pack on here from the various drugs? What, what have I done so far? Let me see. Overdrive is 25%. Psycho buff is plus 50. Comex is times 2 sneak attack. So I've got like... What's my perception at? 13... Is that because I'm so dehydrated? Because I should have way more than that. Drugs makes you very thirsty, kids. Nope. Ah, dang it. Whatever. Okay, what am I at? I should be at way more than that. 
18, that's all. I, I really thought I would have gotten more, considering I have, like, 5 perception already, and I have plus 6 and plus 10. That should put me way over that already. I don't know. Maybe they don't stack or something, or they don't stack, they don't stack correctly. I don't know. I'll try doing some alcohol here, too. Yeah, it's affecting it. Um, not gonna do squirrel stew. I did make some squirrel stew, but I want to save that for when I really need it. Um, what, what have I not used here? Have I used any... I've got Psycho Buff. Buffed Hat does not give you, I don't think... It does give you Perception, though, right? Yeah, it gives you Perception and two Sandy. Okay. <laughs> We're doing, like, every drug known to man at this point. And I've used, like, 10 water, which is ridiculous. But, um, 24 perception. All right, boys, we should be very accurate now. And then last but not least, let's do some ultra jet. I'll use that if I have to, um... Fucking kill him ...without vats. So his belly is the vulnerable part. Just wait here for a second. Till he's not searching anymore. Just wait for him. I don't want to go. Have to go back. I don't want to die. Oh, you know what? This is this is too good. This is perfect. Oop. Belly, belly, belly. Turn towards me, buddy. Turn so There we go. You're so dead. That one missed. Come on. I have no idea what that hit. One more. Got him. Got him, boys. We got him. That was a tough one, though. Yeah, after that... After the initial... High kind of wore off there, that was kind of rough. Okay. Well, Death Claw conquered. And what's my sandy at? Shouldn't be. Oh, we're at a, we're at a hundred. Yeah, because I used all those the the buff tats and stuff that has sandy boosting stuff. Okay, yeah, so we're good. Um, so let's see here. Where would be the bridge over here? Did I look in this before? Probably did not. Can I do it this way? There's gonna be nothing in there. I know it. Nothing here. I hear you, Marlurk. I don't feel like waiting around, plinking at that guy. Let's just kill him. All right, moving on, moving on. I totally hit Shida's limb instead of what I wanted to there. Get out of here. I really should get the... I didn't get hit there, did I? No, I'm good. I really should get the perk that um, gives you poison. Or not poison. It gives you meat from them. Holy crap, look at my endurance, guys. Look at my endurance. I can run for days. Be even better if I had some jet fuel. Alright, so where are we at here? West isn't West ever it is like right over here, right? I'm pretty sure it is. This is um Poseidon? Is that right? Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll check this out too. You know, it's kind of like, why not? Sounds like ghouls. Not today, Mr. Ghoul, not today. Yes, we'll take the Nuka-Cola. Antifreeze, beer bottle, cigarettes, of course. Gotta get those vice items. What is that? Cockroach meat, okay. And more. He must have killed those. Wow, this ghoul was killing these poor cockroaches. These poor rad roaches. Uh, we're gonna take some rads here, aren't we? Ugh. Four rad. Shit. Out of here, ghoul. Really? Illness, insomnia. Just got rid of all my illnesses. It's okay, insomnia is not a terrible one, I guess, to have. It's not that bad. 
Oh, God. Let me out of here. There we go. Okay, getting out of here. Going on our way. Of course we will loot stuff around here. That was a totally accidental headshot. He was, like, kind of looking up there, wasn't he? Like one of those, uh... Is there, like, a boxing crab? I don't know. Like one of those crabs? I guess, like, um... There were boxing crabs in uh, the two towers, or not the two towers, in the um, the drawing of the three? Stephen King book? What is giving me rads? Guys on top of here? C? Nine? Something was giving me rads. Giving me rads. I don't know. Don't get stuck. Nope, we need alcohol. Of course. Oh, I'm out of my keybound alcohol. Time to bind a new one. What do we have here? Let's do some beers, and I will use something else. That way I don't have to go back into here for a while. I know it's annoying, guys. We'll do some... Uh, do we have any Gwinnett? No. Vodka it is. Nasty potato whiskey. All right, so, yeah, what is giving me rads? I don't understand. Is there a... I don't, I don't understand what's giving me rads here. I'd like to know for some reason. What is it? it just, oh, it's just, well, I guess they do have radiation symbols on them, don't they? Just the generators for Poseidon, whatever. Poseidon turbines, whatever they are. Alright, there's the um, Tucker Memorial Bridge. The one that has all the explosives on it and stuff. Not going there today. So West Everett... There's some floating grass. There, uh, West Everett Estate is right up here. And normally there are super mutants here, so of course we will be facing some ghouls in here, and that's totally okay. Another amazing accidental headshot. Oh, would you stop it with all the moving? Oh, getting dodgy on me, are ya? Oh, look at him, he's all wily. Oh, you didn't make it. Nice try. Nice try, though. That was a good try. There are some traps and stuff around here. Is that everybody? Would anybody else like to feed into my experience pool today? No, that's it? Is that... Oh, there's one. Step right up, good sir. 469 experience. What do we have over here? Oh, geez, that is a tripwire. Wonder what that trips around here. Bomb? Missile launcher? I don't I don't see anything. I don't know what, what actually trips that whatever that trips here. There's an IED. Of course we don't have to blow it up because I don't actually trigger those anymore, so it's not a big deal. Um, ghoul, yep, there's a ghoul over here. Wow, the ghoul, the ghoul beat the turret. Yes, Monsieur Ghoul. Right this way. Are you kind of stuck in there, are you? Can't find your way out, eh? Let me help you out there. It was right over here. Alright, Mr. Ghoul, no, we'll pass him the coffee cup, no thanks. Vodka's always great, even though it tastes like crap. 
There goes all the drugs. There they all go. Crap, I don't have my food bound either. What am what is this world coming to? Have some ribeye steak. I don't need these cans, I just disarm them for the experience. I will take the explosive for selling, if nothing else. Three gas masks, that is pretty good. That's it. Got a trap here, nice grenade bouquet. Nice, oh nice, a bunch of alcohol. Nice. That is nice. A lot of pre-war money and, yeah, good stuff there. I cannot open that terminal. Sorry, guys. I'm pretty sure it's a uh, pre-war one anyway. Gosh, I would have been dead right there, wouldn't I have? Totally would have eaten that mine. It was very liberating to not have to worry about that anymore. I mean, yeah, traps are still dangerous, but even if I were to, you know, get hit by an explosive, it's really not that big of a deal anymore. Got it. All right, anything else over here? Nope, looks like we're good. Okay, let me, um, I don't want to, I don't want to force you to watch me loot this entire place, because I will go through here and loot everything. There's quite a lot of good stuff here in all these various buildings, but, um, the main reason we're here is the little backyard bunker area, um, which is going to be over here, I think, somewhere around here. Yeah, there we go. Should be a ripper over here, too. Yeah, just lay in here as a ripper. I'm not a big fan of the ripper, though, as you probably already know. Just a standard combat knife is good enough for me. Or, in our case, um, Pikmin's Blade. So, down here, we have got... I think there's oh, just one. Oh, it's a damaged one now. Nogrim, you naughty boy. I already have a damaged one. I was hoping for a full protection on that. Apparently not, though. Well, that's a serious bummer. was hoping for a regular hazmat suit. I guess it uh, makes sense. It'd be very hard to keep a hazmat suit from getting damaged, so it does, it does make sense, but... Disappointing. I suppose he updated that whenever he did Far Harbor, or... I'm not sure. But that is very disappointing. There used to be a nice one there as well, but now there's just a damaged one, so... Deal with it, I guess. Alright, well that's okay. There's, I mean, it still is really, really good protection, but it's not going to be full protection, which I guess is... I think I've commented before that it was kind of overpowered in the previous playthrough to get the uh, regular one here, so I, I can see Sweet. that he would have done that. Nice, we're getting lots of money out here. It's been a very profitable excursion up north. So that's what we're here for. Um, I will most likely not make you watch the rest of the stuff here. Just gonna go through and get the valuables, ammo, bottles, etc. You know the drill. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through here and loot stuff, and I guess I'll see you once I'm done. So okay, I should be all. We're almost full on carry weight. Um, put up Poseidon. There should be some. Maybe a power armor. Well, there's there's not the power armor because we're using the um, power armor overhaul mod that will make it not exist. But um, there should still be, if not power armor, there should still be, like, some loot up there. I want to grab that if I can. Maybe a fusion core? We'll see. And, uh, yes, I know I've got the full UI on still. I, I know. It's, it's, it's a pain in the butt. I'm going to switch back to Horizon here soon. I don't have to deal with, with switching back and forth like that. Do not want to kill this guy? I mean, he's probably going to be pretty easy to kill. Don't one-shot me, man. be very upset if I get one shot here. Your attempted okay, good. He's dead. See how little recoil that thing has on, this thing has on it? It's so good. This weapon is so good. Okay, purified water and a blood pack. So yeah, up here there should be... Normally there is power armor. So yeah, there's no power armor, just some raider power armor and some T-45. No... No boss chest, though, it looks like. I was hoping there'd be a boss chest up here. That's what that mod does. It normally replaces power armor with either 
power armor or a boss chest, and I would gladly take the boss chest over the uh, power armor any day. But that's not the case, and that's okay. Alright, let's go down here and explore a little bit before we head back. What what time is it? 6 p.m. Yeah, we got plenty of time to get back, so I want to kind of look around a bit over here. There's a wolf. See what we can find over in this area that we can carry back with us. There's the sham. Ooh, there'll be eggs in there. Ooh, eggs. Okay, I know where we're going. Adios, Wolfie. Nice, more gold play flip lighters. Anything gold or silver, pick it up, guys. It's worth selling. It's very light and uh, it's worth selling. Adhesive as well is always worth picking up. It's always worth the uh, the carry weight. Anything over here? Got power armor station, but no power armor. I think there norm is there normally power armor there? I'm not sure. Oh shit! Oh god! You scared the Jesus out of me. That experience though. God damn, that experience. It's so much. That wolf scared the crap out of me though. I was not I did not see him there. I see you though. Bye bye wolf. God, the experience is so good. Alright, don't don't stumble actually. Do I really want to go over there? Yeah, I do. I can just jump out over there. It'll be it'll be fine. Just don't don't fuck up. Okay, well. I totally messed up, but it's totally okay. We got some money, it's okay. Alright, so yes, we're going up around here. I want to go into here. There will be a ton of eggs in here. Oh yes, many eggs. Yep, we'll go in here and, t and take all the eggs. Irish Pride Industries. This is where Rory's at. I wonder if his if Rory's tape is still playing. You know, it'd be it'd be crazy if you like found Rory in here. If you found a survivor, you could kill Rory. That'd be kind of cool. I just think it's neat when you can find references to the game in Frost, the main game in Frost, of things that happened like a long time ago. You know. Although, in the game, I think Rory only died recently. He was only recently deceased, so I guess it wouldn't make that much sense to have him here. I would not complain if he were, though. It'd be really cool. So yeah, I got the uh, the last rank on the uh, hip fire as well. So hip firing will actually do more damage now, too. So it's worth using whenever it's feasible. And that doesn't mean I'm going to hip fire all the time. It's going to depend on the situation and what is going to be most likely to get me a hit and be easiest for me in that given moment. But um, if it makes sense to use it, I certainly will. Did not mean to pick up that rib cage. Just a reminder, I have the nice. um, infinite, like, your lock picks can't break perk. Whoa! That guy was moving. A lot of food in here. Carrying too much, damn. And I picked up some stuff I don't want here. I have to do for now. I'll use uh, buff tats and other stuff later. Maybe some Excel if I have to. Carry all this crap. Office here. Whoop, hello. That's that's kind of cheating right there. Well, time it did not pay off. Didn't get poisoned though, so it's okay. Using vats to line up your shot like that—it's kind of, uh, not really cheating. It's you know creative use of game mechanics. It is essentially auto aim though. I'm not telling you what to do. Just saying. It's a little bit cheaty, but I used it, so it's okay. That's how it works. If 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 uh, if you use it, then it's okay. But if somebody else uses it and you didn't know about it, then it's clearly an exploit and it's a hack. Not a hack, but it, it's unfair. You shouldn't do it. That was that was sarcasm, by the way, guys. In case that was not apparent, that was totally sarcasm. Just making fun of my own mentality and some other people's mentalities as well. Don't take it personal. Need some more booze. Vodka? Yes, vodka. Vodka. 
The potato whiskey. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on is potato whiskey. It's not vodka, it's potato whiskey. Alright, so that's all good. So down here, down below, that is the real the real prize of the Irish Pride shipping yard here. Are those beautiful, beautiful eggs? Let's get down there. Oh, oh. Holy shit, it's Rory, isn't it? Is that Rory? It is. Hey. Yeah? That is totally, totally Rory. That's awesome. I bet you anything it's Rory. I mean, who else would it be, right? He's been caring for these mut mutts all of his life. Now, this goes outside. We don't want to go there. I wonder if he gets mad if you if he sees you attack his uh, his babies. Oh God, this is not good timing. What are you, what are you doing, Rory? Excuse Rory. Me. Hi, how are you? Okay, we're still cool. Shit. Oh shit is right. Are we still cool, Rory? Okay. I kind of want to kill him just to see if he has a journal. It may not be Rory either. It might just be some random guy. But he's not hostile, so I don't want to kill him for the sake of killing him. Maybe the terminal will have information about him. That way I don't have to kill him. God, the carry weight. It is too much. Hell yeah. Nice. Got some sweet tattoos. Look at that Skyrim tattoo. It's amazing. We are well into the above carry weight area now. Okay, well, um... Two minutes, that's it? Okay, we'll use buff tats then. Uh, where you at, buff tats? Well, you'd be in the bees, wouldn't you? Eight minutes. It's still not very much, but it gives me some sandy back too. So that's that's a that's a positive. You know, that's a good thing. So that's all that's in here. Let's go up top and see if there's anything in the terminal up there. Maybe it will reveal some information about this guy. Clearly, he is uh, living over here. So this is Rory's terminal. Peace, joy, and mire lurks. Rory Rigwell. Reading notes. Okay, so this is this is vanilla stuff. There are no actual announcements, which is actually kind of nice. It's not so annoying. I I kind of I really kind of want to see if that guy has a um a journal on him. I'm kind of tempted to just save over there in that bed. Maybe get a, a, whole, a full night's sleep over there. You know what, we're gonna get the gonna get the knife out here. Make things easier. Of course the Meyer lurks don't exist yet, so they won't pop up and cause us trouble here, but there are of course muck crabs. Anybody else? Nice mutt crab eggs. Beautiful, beautiful mutt crab eggs. There's a... Wow. Wow! That guy. This guy. What happened, man? That's some crazy texture issues right there. That's pretty sweet. Glad I'm not you, man. Alright, do we have any more eggs down here? They're all dead, dude. Calm down. Oh, over here. Yeah, here we go. they go I see you oh 
Oh god, no. Poisoned. Dear god, no. Um, Medex. I don't have any... No, I don't have any anti-venom or whatever. Uh, Medex, Medex, Medex. Yes, please. Thank you. No. No mutt crab. Bad mutt crab. That is a really, really big one right there. Like That is really large. Okay. Not as many eggs on here as I remember. Well, sir, your mutt crab worries are over. Where'd he go? Totally ran away. Excuse me, sir. Nope, there's one left. Is he up on top? He is up on top. Nope. Where where did he go? Oh, is he is he dead? Did they kill him? Huh. Isker, eh? I guess they killed him. Isker's confession. Not sure what he died from. I killed all the muck crab. Maybe that one muck crab killed him. Alright, uh, let's see here. Isker's confession. What does that say? I heard Troy Bishop arrive with all his cavalry at dawn. We greeted him from the deck and ushered his men inside. All he asked about was the package. I lied. Told him it was in my cabin. Truth is, we never touched the damn thing. From there, we locked... Something something... Killed them all. Thus always... I don't know, I guess we'll see. Troy Bishop and Isker are important to the story. I shall not reveal more at this time. Don't want to spoil anything for people that haven't seen the Frost story before. But uh, they are important to the story, so that is something to take note of there. There's a... is that a skeleton? It's just a skeleton up there. I guess I could get over there. Might there be something interesting over here, or just a dead skeleton? No, there's something here. Get out of here, skeleton. Night vision calibrated powerful assault rifle. Nice, I already have one of those, but you know, still nice. Maybe it has, um... Oh, a recoil compensating stock. Very nice. Very nice. I don't have one of those. Yeah, I'd like that recoil compensating. That's the best stock. That's all I'm missing on this thing is a nice stock. Um, unfortunately, that's super, super heavy. Like, I don't know how I'm going to carry all this crap. What, what, a what time is it? It's 10 p.m. Um, I'm going to run over here to that nice bed. I want to sleep over here among all the, uh, the Meyer Lurks. Then we'll exit out here in the morning. Have to load up on drugs and just haul butt back home. Get this stuff back there. Let's have a nightcap here. There we go. And, uh, do I have any fungal purge? That'd be nice. I think I do. I think I found some on the way up here, didn't I? Yeah, we'll do, like, yeah, two of those should be good. I'll just do three. Why not? It's not going to really hurt me to do it, so do three of those, and uh, then we shall... I think if you... Okay, I want to test. Does this... Does Fungal Purge keep going while you sleep? I want to test that. We'll see if my radiation is gone in the morning. If not, it's not the end of the world, but if it does, that would be good to know. I always wait because I thought in previous versions of Frost it did not work. It does work with that. Okay, good. That's very good to know. Alright, so we need uh, some buff tats. We're going to have some bare ribs, a beer, and a bourbon, because why not? And, uh, oh gosh, we're almost there. What else do I have going here? Do I have the grilled venison on me still? Yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm thirsty, so yeah. Okay, there we go. Good to go. Okay. Uh, I'll be honest, guys. If this thing... If there was a powerful automatic receiver that did the same or close to the same damage per shot as what this thing does, I would... Well, if Sweet. I had the perks, I would totally use it. So I, like I said, I have, like, over a thousand rounds still back at the base, and I can buy them pretty rapidly, like 200 a pop from Opal. So I can get them quite often. Okay, so this goes in the back shed here. Nothing back here, it looks like. 
All right, so I'm on kind of a timer here. I got to haul butt back to the base to drop all this stuff off. I think it's still quicker to go this way. Those drugs do make for some nice running, though. Gives me lots and lots of AP to use on sprinting. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording here, and I'll see you once we're back at the base. It looks like I'm being ambushed by wolves, so... They're attempting to ambush me anyway. Does not seem to have worked out for them. Am I over-encumbered now? Nope, good. Nope, good. Kind of looked like they were eating something over here. I want to see if there's anything over here of note. Maybe they were chowing down on a survivor over here with a journal or something. That nah, doesn't look like it. Okay, back to my voyage that is not being recorded. All right, boys and girls, we've made it back. Uh, let me go ahead and... First off, let me see here. This is boosted, so that is quite a bit better. Maybe mine is already maybe mine already has boosted though. I'm not sure. Maximize and overcharge would be the ones I really want. Uh, but let's go ahead and take this off. Do I have? Yeah, I can attach this. Okay, we'll do that. And I've got a, already a nice barrel for mine, I think. So won't mess with that. I do want to take this nice recoil compensating stock off here. Let's go ahead and build a crappy stock for it. And we will put that onto this right here. So now it's gonna this this is the ultimate assault rifle right here, guys. This is pretty much the best you're gonna get. Um yeah, that's really, really nice. 25 weight, but I mean it is it packs a good punch to ammo for it's pretty common. I've got lots of ammo, so I'll uh if I if I wanna have the option of putting a recon scope on it too, if I want to make a nice sniper rifle. So yeah, let's go ahead and dump that off. That'll be a huge bunch of weight there. I guess I already have a boosted plasma sniper rifle, don't I? Yeah, yeah, looks like I already have one. Well, that's, that kind of sucks. I wish I was hoping for an upgrade there, but you know, not a huge deal. There's a damaged hazmat suit. Gonna keep that on me because I'll be using it pretty pretty shortly here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and offload my spare ammo here. I've got an okay bit of uh, fusion cells here, but not a ton. Not as many as I would like, but you know. I've got um, almost a thousand of these still, and I'll probably just take this thing along with me when I go over to Lexington Station here in a little bit. Take about 500 rounds, should be plenty. I think I am going to end the episode here though, guys. Uh, next time we'll be going into Lexington, I promise. We'll be going up. Let me see what my sanity is at here. Oh yeah, we're still good. So yeah, anyways, I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to tune in next time and we will find out what happened over in Lexington and take out Al Six Nails Duval.